so i'm doing this live i am doing this live primarily for those who will see it after because i'm not going to sit and wait until people are here um i'm not doing this to gain likes or followers i'm not doing this to gain popularity i'm not even seeking to be understood I am doing this because there are a few things I've noticed about our society that needs highlighting. It needs to be um, pointed out because some of us don't seem to be able to see it. And then when we identify these problems that we have, we need to seek solutions for them. One, hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. There are people that we hold above criticism, above reproach, above question. And when we put someone in that position, they can do no wrong. They can literally do anything, anything. And you guys will find an excuse for it. You guys will find a way to justify their bad behavior. These people can do anything. We have a few such people. You have a style. Now, I have noticed a lot of comments. May I, may I start with the hypocrisy first? And if, if when I'm done with the hypocrisy, I feel like they can't nothing else, then I keep going. If after I'm done with the hypocrisy, I feel like going, I stop. But I'm going to talk about the hypocrisy of even some of you here. Some of the good people, some of the people who feel like they are not a part of the problem. Now, I want to say thanks to everybody who's ever listened to my music and liked it, bought a CD, come to a show. When, when you beat and put on your good clothes and spend the money coming out and show me a perform for me, I appreciate it. You don't know, have to do it. Nobody owes me anything. Nobody owes me a damn thing. And I've always been aware of that. I've always been mindful. I've always been grateful because there are many people who sing much better than me. My backup singer, them sing better than me. They know this. If they never know this before, they sing for me. They know this after they sing for me. Can we tell them? Right? Me have a, me have a unique skill set. I have a combination of a very unique voice, unique writing skill, unique sense of humor. And the combination of all of my elements is what makes me potent. I, I am very comfortable and honest with myself. I'm not my favorite vocalist. And the fact that people spend time with me and like what I do and consume it, it makes me grateful. And it's very humbling. Because me know where I come from. I know who I be. I poor people pick me. I come from extreme poverty. But I one room I spend several years, few quite a few years i'm a young life in a i come out a one room going a whole house who know me from rich man know when i'm in the betting shop and the wish part me live upstairs so when rain fall it come true which part we live come down in the betting shop fall upon the head top them know me come out of poverty me never had that yet i'm a grateful i am very grateful for everything every luxury every experience Everything that music has afforded me is a job. And I think I did my job well. And I got paid for it. I got paid for it. Relative to how I performed my job, I think. I made a good living out of music. And I, and I say made because at this point, I don't know where the world is going. And there's a possibility that I may not do it the way I used to do it anymore right so it's not a resignation statement but me do it my way me do it my way right and i think i attract the people who are like-minded and who like the way i do it i've also converted some people because prior to me prior to me expressing certain ideas and thoughts people have admitted to me that they didn't, never used to think about it they they just followed what they heard before you know when i did songs like do you still care the rhetoric before first of all when i introduced freaky type 
which is a song glorifying oral sex, I was told that my career would be over. And that was decades ago. Decades ago. And my career wasn't over. In fact, it grew and it kept growing and it kept growing because I am human. I display my humanity in every single fucking thing I do. Not just music, everything about me. In everything about me, I display all of my humanity. All of my, I am very proud of myself. Extremely proud of, I've never been ashamed of myself. I don't sing no song where me go home and cry about. Me not do nothing past stage where me go home and cry about. Nothing. Me not embarrassed by nothing. Now, what me tell you about the hypocrisy on a half? The hypocrisy on a half is that you know, watch people I do shit. Bad shit. Fucked up shit. Repeatedly. And you know, applaud it. Because you know, me realize many of you guys who are going to watch this and spread it and cut snippets of it and find some shitty way to spin it, many of you feel really bad about yourselves. Really bad about yourselves. So, what makes you feel better is to find somebody who looks confident and happy and try to undermine that in order to feel better about yourself. Like, um, but she not that nice because I'm finding something for, for emphasize we look negative we are, or could be spun to look ne negative, right? And you use that to feel better about yourself instead of getting the help that you actually need. So when you find somebody who embodies that energy, you make them into your God and you worship them. And I've seen that with you repeatedly with artists. Now, today I was prompted by a comment that I saw on Facebook. From somebody that I, that I know. And it was saying that the woman, like, what is wrong with the woman in dancer? Why they can't get along? And that is such fucking blatant hypocrisy. When, when, when um, Shaba and Ninja was feuding, I never heard them say, the man, them, what's wrong with the man them in a dance hall? When Bounty and Beanie feuded for years, Years. Nobody said, what wrong with the man them in the dance hall? The man them in the dance hall. Nobody painted all the fucking men in the dance hall bad. That's two separate feuds, you know. Even in a different time. Cartel and Mavado, still. Nobody said, how oh, the man them so fucked up? Why the man them live so bad? How oh, the man? How much blood clot man war? How much man war? Pussy, you not tell me that. How much man war? And then, I have been. I have been. Very exposed to every facet of life. So, me been around. You said amongst my sister. First, as a little picnic. We a teacher. Me in a staff room with her. Me sit down in a staff room when the teacher not hear me. I hear them a chat shit about my blood clot sister. When she not there. And then when she come, them skin them teeth in front of her. Spence! <laughs> Nobody knows the teachers fucked up. Fucked up people belong to every social group. S fucked up people belong to every fucking social group. Stop saying the women don't live good. Stop saying that. Me never hear Marcia Griffiths in a no fucking warrior. She's a woman. Jamaican... Uh, music industrialists who, are, who happen to be female, may not hear all of them in a war. What you've heard is a series of feuds which revolve around one blood clot individual. One no more. One pussy clot, smuddy. From era to era to era to era. Some of the names them were call. When me and that the Greyback start the music, them pitney they did a still egg in a them mama home. As Sperm in them daddy balls. Some of the name them where the greyback a call younger than my daughter. Me couldn't possibly feud with them. Me couldn't. Me mean like, me not mean like me morally above, me mean like me chronologically above feuding with them. Me couldn't. Me fucking couldn't. Me couldn't feud with somebody whenever born when me I care my daughter. Go to kindergarten. 
I couldn't. And you guys are such fucking hypocrites that you sit and watch feud after feud after feud after feud. And then you have a nerve, he said, the woman, the woman, and then you have one blood clot individual who can come out and call any name they want, any fucking name. And make one of them name never answer. Oh my God, you don't love war too much. You don't know, learn to for forgive. Learn to for forgive. Who the fuck are you to tell people when them for forgive man or hurt them? I know your job. That's not your job. That's literally not your job. Oh. But remember, I said that pussy that used to do the same thing. You know? No, you, who are you to judge? Judgment is a lot. But I know judgment start the blood clot argument here. Yeah. Listen to me. I love about juice in one another. I want to sad. And I want to tell people bitter. And I don't know where I support them for yeah. You see me? I'm happy. I'm happy about something. You see the people who listen to my music? The people who are year to year to year to year through all of my evolutionary phases when me go through in my personal life which actually reflect in my music. I don't have them the kind of fans and I thank the universe to Bumbo Clark. My people them think. And when I see one of my fans them somewhere aggravates somebody, I tell them, not do it on my behalf. No, you don't need to defend me. Defend me from what? Nothing would then say what this and affect my life. So right now, I'm not annoyed by the people where I chat shit. I'm annoyed by Uno where I support it and I encourage it. Uno, where see delusion and not call it out. Uno, where see mental health problems and not call it out. And me, you know, you stick on every day I call my dinner. Me, where on a so balance and I live my life. I live my life the way how it please me, or me comfortable, or me happy. Uno call me mad because I do things the way how Uno said it should have done. But Uno, Uno see somebody I pick by everybody. We walk. And, and believe me, for all of the female artists, them were things say, the one them who for name a call, for let it go and forgive it. And things say, maybe some of them aggravate the situation or exacerbate the situation for your answer. Just understand, the only reason why your name not call is because you're no boss, you're not nobody to them. Anyhow, you did look like you have potential. You would have get called too. Believe it, the only time you get called. Is when them feel threatened and if them feel like you yeah, do something with them wish them it do or with them could I do and them feel like you yeah, eat a food where them should not eat because all of this all of this cause from nothing but envy envy you see when you're not comfortable and happy in yourself when you not comfortable and happy in yourself there's no artist on the face of the earth where have nothing where me want and if there was one artist where have something I want I would have maybe Alanis Morissette. I don't know. And it now have nothing to do with the material things either. Joni Mitchell. It's the peace where they exude, where come from within them. The level of comfort where they seem to have within themselves. Me not aspire to be nobody down here, you know. Nobody. And when I say down here, I don't mean Jamaica, I mean Earth. <laughs> there is nobody here that I would rather be than me i am my own creation every morning i wake up and i come across something in me that i don't like i fuck it off me get rid of it whether it take me instant or it take me time but me get rid of it anything when me see in myself i'm not afraid to call it ask the people around me as the people around me, listen, first of all, if it make it past my daughter, it good. Because nobody out the road can, 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 can look in at me and, and hash me out and, and, and critique me more than my own child. And so I raise her. I raise her if I have a voice. I raise her if I be honest. And I raise her if I be objective. I raise her if I just say it. Unapologetically, just say it. And so I raise her. So I come out of the road, balance, because I balance myself and who around me balance me too. We have one, if you ever come in a full space, you, you, no one no can imagine what my space is like, because everything you want to guess about me is fucking wrong. It's so off. My balance, my, trust me, my balance. I don't want to see that. I don't do nothing and look back on it. I am not want regretting kind of person. I want to learn from a mistake kind of person. I want to grow kind of person evolve kind of person i mean that i have no problem with throat nothing or nobody nothing or nobody 
me not have no problem. And when me walk away from people, me not really feel like me even need to give them an explanation. We not fit no more. Whether, whether it is that me realize that we not fit and me shouldn't there, so or me realize that, well, we are grow apart and we not fit no more. Me not have no problem. Me not have no problem. So let me tell you something now. Where no hypocrisy come from? Full no hypocrisy. Full no, no hypocrisy. When you sit down and watch somebody I do sitting for years, for years and years and years, and let me show you, remember me have the benefit of a fucking 360 vision of this. I've been here. Me there before Spice. So me know I look like before Spice, me know more how Spice know about that argument. Yeah. Right? Me walk come in at, the, me walk come in at one, one space, when I think me I come to work, and then I realize I'm on a blood clot back of field, and I say, but I didn't sign up for this. Me never sign up for this. Me come for the music. A music. Me say me addicted to the music. Me want to sing some song and write some something. Let me show you all my trajectory travel. You see when me there Jamaica? And you not ready for this yet, boss? Every fucking producer start telling me say they want one song like that. Bobby Digital. Me do angle ride for. Shocking vibes. Me do goggle for. And after that, every producer. Bar none. Start telling me say they want either they say they want you know for this or they want goggle or they want hangle the ride. And after a while I felt like I was chasing my tail and I said so from back then. That was like twenty years ago. Twenty twenty five years ago. And I got depressed. Because it didn't feel like I was expressing my creativity. So I left. I think maybe that's why the war never start earlier. Because when me, when me reach what Jamaica saw as an initial peak, me cut left, me move go live a Sweden. And I, that saved me from the first fucking assault. Well, that did launch for me because I cut. And me have multiple calls. Me, if Cecile wish for talk, Cecile can't tell me. and Cecile used to be best friend before me move for friends. So Cecile sleep on my yard, me sleep on fear yard. We sleep on the same bed. We had a friend in a real life, not never a music friend. Cecile know me, my mother live a country, come a country when we have cook out we yard there, country go a river, all about Aisha. Know me. Them there two friends them when me, 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 me cultivate out of music. And when I live in Sweden, if Cecile wish, uh, well, to be honest, I never call Cecile tonight. Cecile stay about the business. But there was a time when she was trying to get to me, to be friends with me through Cecile. So and so say so you come up our yard when you come when you come to Jamaica you come our yard car she run she run a boat and the whole of us hang out and I say Cecile you know me not friendly me not hang out me not friendly me not friendly yeah me not friendly me get a whole heap of invitation right. I get enough. But you see, after the bunch of things that when me witness and me hear for myself come out of that same fucking mouth, now me tell you how me and people go. You see, if me see you do something to somebody else, me not, you don't have to do it to me. No? My uncle needs to know say, that's what you are. And that's enough for me. I don't want none of that. I may be like, yes. I right, may take one of this and one of that, but I don't want none of that here. Don't put that on my plate. None of that. I don't want none of that. And that's what I said. All right, so I hear people are say, Spice shouldn't say nothing and she love war too much. But let me tell you something about life. I don't know hypocrisy. Because I don't know, I don't know nurture this, you know. The behavior could have, could have get rid of a long time if I never did applaud it, accommodate it, nurture it. Oh no. Oh no. But you see, from back then, let me show you something when I realize about life. Back then, them that try to come each upside of me. Every girl who come in my business, we look like they have potential, then go each upside of them. I try to suck off. I try to suck off them blood clot energy. Me now, lucky for me now, me grew up standoffish. I saw my mother grow me. All when me dead for hungry, me couldn't go next door and accept a plate of food. Me never try to feed me. We couldn't take it. We couldn't take it. We had did some very, very poor aristocrat. So me no mix with people. I act shocking vibe them when I start coming to the studio when I stay in one corner. People used to think me crazy because I'm sitting in a corner when I see artists and come in and they're in full suit. Uh, 
You remember back when I used to wear a pulse material makes some thick suit? I'm sitting there and I look at them and I think how hot they must blood clap. Yeah, I just start giggle to myself and everybody thinks I'm crazy. Girl from country. Yeah, I mean that by myself. Sit down right by myself. Me and people are not friendly like that. I'm not friendly. So when them start telling myself to come at them yard, come at them yard to come eat, I give you context, you know, because them say come at them yard to come eat. And I say, no, I have my own kitchen. Me have part two. Me have stove, me have fridge, me have cupboard, me have things in there. Right? Right? So me no go. Or else you see a bumbo class thing that reach me that you say me go name out people food too. And them I invite everybody. Them invite everybody, them go suck up and they run in from people and invite them to come at their yard. Don't ask me, I ask I tell me a blood clot tell you. Because me reject the, the invitation day a million and one times and then guess what? It turned in a war. So you don't have, there's no correct way to respond to that advance in a friendship neither, you know? You, if you accept it, later on you hear say you go and you go name out them food. And if you reject it, you hear say you go and like you better and them and you stand off How much blood clot things you know hear about me? And I reject me, reject it. So you know, have, there's no correct way to respond to the pussy. Me reject it and, un, first of all, let me tell you what did. Enough things happen to me, you know? And I sit down and all I do is rationalize the things. I sit down and I try to rationalize. What a guan? What caused this? Why the person I do this? What a person I do this for? Me, a, a psychology, me in family study. Me, everybody else do music, me do psychology with a side of music. So when I see people behavior, I go try to deconstruct the action for see which behavior feed the blood clot action. Right? I don't run in for nothing at all. Just looking at my life and looking at my history and my past. Look, you hear enough things about me, but you don't see it. And you don't know what is true and what is not. Because no fight there. When they don't know nothing about you, they make up things in a brother. Remember, I know I'm famous. <laughs> I'm famous with privacy. I'm famous with almost zero known about me. For the first few years of my popular career, nobody never know what the fuck me look like. I never like to take picture. Me no even like take picture. Me never have no video. Me never have no video. So, when me come in a music from country, me go to studio, me get some song, me feel happy because music I hit or miss, you know, if Believe me, if you see a million artists where you like, try and say 50 million artists out, they never make it. That is a conservative guess. That's my pretty sure I'm more is a greater percentage than that feel. And they don't necessarily feel because they're not talented. So my most talented people they never boss. A whole heap of things going to an artist becoming an artist and becoming popular. Several things more I talk about today. So I depend on the hypocrisy and all. The inability to say no. And the hazard of saying yes. The hazard of saying yes is when they invite you in a them circle. You go in there, you come out back and hear enough things about yourself. You're not allowed to grow. You're not allowed to grow. And one reason, one reason only you get invited in another circle. And it's to keep the circle. To make sure that the circle stay under the inviter. So when you get invited, you become a prodigy of the person who invites you in. You become their prodigy. And no matter how much success you have, you stay under them. Me spot that from early. And anybody when to work with that, I fight you, I fight you. Either, let me tell you something. Gaddaf, if Gaddafi is still there, but anybody know where Gaddafi is there? Gaddafi can't tell no one night in call me for asylum. Say our man rush him because he invites me. And say, if you pick a side in the war, I never even know what I mean in a blood clot war. Oh, you know what I do in the war? Go, go to and go sing song. And that turn in a war. Because how dear me make song and people like it and me actually I get popular. How dear me come from country and come up here so content smuddy. Who the fuck do I think I am? Eh? Go ask Gaddafi. So why don't you go ask Gaddafi for me? Go ask Gaddafi. 
asylum front thing call me from out of door me there my yard and my bed call me away. Tanya, if you hear say gunshot a bus because them go and let them a blood clot bad man and none of them no bad army Gaddafi because them page him in asylum and, and I, I, I go and let them want to drape him for record me say so he shouldn't record me and if you pick a side now war there was no blood clot war who oh, alone out this attack when his audience shut the fuck up and make the people them hear what them feel inside? I stop going like when I moderate off blood clot music life because you don't know nothing. Hmm? When me there my yard, I go about my business and not care about people say so them exist. If you turn up and hear my daughter say, when she had a prep school, Say, pick me and tell her, say them hear her name in a song. No, no, if I sprague or Ellie or the father, for Kelly. <laughs> Put me pick me name in a song. Put me pick me name in a song. Uno never know that because me ignore it. But you know who me not ignore? Uno. Me not ignore Uno because Uno has some pussy. Some of Uno has some pussy. Me, now go ignore Uno. Spice no, Spice no recruit me in no war. Spice can't recruit me in no war. Go ask Spice if she can recruit me in no war. Spice no, call me name because she looks strength in our war. Spice no need nobody for her done. The girl can't fight by herself. You think you look like you're afraid of people to you? But let me show you something now. The reason why she come and say what she said publicly. Because she did act what she did act publicly. Me and her already cool in a private. We are right in a private. We don't have no beef. There's nothing for she if you apologize to me for she said it in public for clear the ear because some of the events played out in public. I may find that for be very mature of her if you do that. I may accept it. I accept it before she said it in a public. Me good. She never need to come to me and go and say, Yo, Tanya, I do do something I'm wrong and I seek your forgiveness. She never need to do none of that because me no need that. Me no need that and me no think she need that neither. Me, completely alright. But she, she never take long to apologize. We good long time. Who oh, no, not in our life. This is something you need to start to know and understand. Say. When you listen to one song, you don't know a person sing it, you know? You don't know the person who sing it. You don't. You don't know a person who sing it. When we put out Gangsta Blues, and me hear that song that I call my daughter name in it. And remember enough things going on. You know? I'm on the road, on tour, you know. And have a reporter come for come interview me. And when, me, when, when, when them ask me, say, what's your, do you have any comments on the beef between you and so and so? And I'm like, there's beef? What beef? We don't have no beef. You, you must be mistaken. Oh yeah, but you, you have to have beef. Because she was here and she did an interview and then showed me an interview. Bumbarass clot. They must have translated for me. Suppose you see the pussy clad sitting there, what she has about me. Up to this day, she can't tell me nothing. What me do her? Nothing. Nothing at all. What me do her? She no, interview no contain one action done by me towards she. She said me fuck off all I'm on them in her business. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all I'm on them? All? So no, no other women are like. Like some, some would smell bad, some would rotten teeth, some would don't bad none of them me no pass me take everyone artist producer musician engineer me no left us to one and turn then i saw me good that in an interview germany me day me no forgot brown sugar brown sugar mitzi we win rising star i did my backup singer one next girl named chrissy friend on a mobile the dip on the road, Taddy P, Goofy. I think a castic. Castic. Is either castic or unga? Dip on the road with me. Them something in the interview, you know, so I think me better than, me go on like me better than dance hall. And I think me better than everybody in the dance hall, but me, but me dirty. Me not no morals. Interview in our magazine. Magazine, you can't say me we are make up things about her when it fucking documented in a magazine. For me, still save it, me save it, me save it.